more thing that I want to mention before we actually get into the meat of the video is a tool is the discipline workshop. So I really want to talk about the discipline workshop real quick that we have in MIC. So this was created by our traveling moderator, Steven. And the goal was to kind of create an environment where we help traders become more disciplined. In trading, discipline is the number one thing that separates you from your goals. And sometimes what you need is you need someone to help you stay accountable to be more disciplined. If you don't have someone there to kind of feed off of or to kind of learn from, then you'll never be disciplined. So Steven started off this channel as like a DM group. He started with like 15, 20 people and then interest grew to hundreds of people. And then we say, you know what, screw it, we'll make a channel. And now there's about 500 of our members in that channel. So I suggest if you guys have been struggling with discipline, if you guys have been having issues with discipline, you know, this is the discipline workshop and just DM Steven for an invite. What we do in here, guys, is we judge ourselves based on if we followed our plan or not following our plan, not based on being green or not be it based on being red. If we follow our plan, that is a win. If we did not follow our plan, that is a loss because in trading, being green or red does not matter. What matters is having the discipline to stick to your plan and bro, the results have been crazy. In just a few months, members are like dramatically, dramatically improving. So that is one of the tools that can help you get to where you wanna be in trading. So if you're an MIC, just DM Steven RH1 in chat and he'll get you into that channel. And, you know, James helps out all day long. Steven helps out. I try to help out. You know, this is an unbelievable resource, guys. Wow, guys, this, this is an amazing way. This is actually pretty damn cool, dude. I didn't really understand the, the whole format, but now that you talked about it, it makes total sense. So people like to grade themselves based upon how much money you make, right? And, and that necessarily is not always the best way to trade. Uh, or rather the best way to grade yourself on how you trade it. Because you can trade like shit. Break all the rules, revenge trade, you know, add to a loser over and over and bail yourself out and make money because you got lucky. But that doesn't mean that's a good trade. But that what happens is it builds bad habits. The more, the more you get rewarded for bad habits, the more your bad habit becomes like a lifetime of a curse, right? Correct. So, so we, we always say, you know, don't worry about the PL. It will handle itself if you trade well. So judge yourself on how you trade well, right? So how do you trade? How do you trade well? You make a plan. You stick to your plan. You, cu you cut your losers like you plan to do. As long as you plan, as long as you stick to your plan, that's a win for the day. That's what you guys count, right? You guys count as a win for the day. And a lot of people, guys, you guys, we all struggle with the same problems, right? We all have the same issues with FOMO. We have the same issues with greed. We have the same issues with patience. So being in a channel with 500 other traders that, you know, you could kind of build off of as well. Because you got to remember, guys, the people in the discipline workshop are the people that are the most serious about their trade. They are so serious about trading that they want to use every single resource to get them to that next level. And at MIC, we help you guys get there. So we have our moderators helping. The point is that if you've been struggling with discipline, if you've been struggling, let's say, with your stops or even struggling with your plans, join that channel. Obviously, it's free. And just start to participate and see how we like to run things in there. So I'll give you an example. Alex, maybe you can help me now. So let's pretend sure. that I am a member in need of a discipline. Today is a nice big green day for me on GTII. So pull up that stock and help me out. Yeah, give me one second. So how would you help me on this discipline? Because these, this is a, this is a. Most people think of discipline as a bad trader who's red, but it can also help a good, experienced trader become a better trader. All right. So GTII. So yesterday it went to eight fifty, and it tanked all the way down. Right. So I shorted around seven dollar line, and I kind of woke up late, <laughs> thankfully, but it, but it dropped at the open. So my plan was very simple, just to. My target was around this this low right here because it made the low, right? Then it bounced back up. Then I shorted it. So so my plan was a very simple plan to cover on the wash under five bucks, which I did. Right here. Sick. Sick. Right here. So the problem I have is this, guys, which is a problem of greed. I am fucking pissed. I should have held all I mean, I made nice money on this dude, but you you know. Oh, shit, wait. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. But you know what happens, man. Now it's kind of like, fuck, fuck, fuck. This thing went down another dollar, man. 
And same thing with your uh, finger trade, right? Yeah. So now it's like, you, but you're just like, fuck it. If I follow my plan, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. But there's a lot of people that is pissed. So what they'll do is they'll chase. Or next one, they'll do a, a makeup trade. A, make, a makeup trade and then blow up. Because they're too early or they hold too long. They don't follow their plan. So do you consider, I mean, so in this case, I want to talk about, because we, we help a lot of the beginning traders become disciplined, but we forget often times, like even ourselves, man, I mean, <laughs> we get pissed off. And so how, how does that help uh, an, an advanced trader join MIC to help that as well? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, guys, we have, it's all different. So number one thing is finding out what you're struggling with. So Bao, you said you're greedy, bro. You fucking, I'm fucking greedy as fuck. <laughs> I am pissed right now. I'm staring at this shit. Uh, I should, it's zombie hour. I should walk away because look at yesterday, guys. I shorted this shit yesterday. Zombie hour and fucking walked all the way back up. Yeah. And I was stuck. That's how, that's how I was stuck, guys. I, I think I could cover overnight. So I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, okay? I was fucking, I hammered this shit all the way down like I posted. But I held too long. I started adding, adding, because I'm like, it's broken. It's got to go down today. But it went down today, not yesterday, right? So I am here stuck. And then it went down after hours, obviously, uh, I mean, at the end of the day. But I held it, too. Look. So we went down here. I didn't fucking cover. It walked all the way back up. So then I was stuck here, and I woke up late. Thank no, God. It sounds I like we got to get you in the workshop, bro. <laughs> yeah. So everybody, need, everybody, everybody needs this workshop. So that's the point. That's exact. That's the point. Bow's making, guys. It's, it should be everyone is in that workshop, dude. Because you know, I graded myself. I made money yesterday, and I. I was like, fuck, dude. But my discipline was way off. I got hell agreed. I started to keep on adding, adding, adding to a winner. Yeah. That's what you do. You add to a fucking winner. So yesterday, I added all the way fucking down. And then it started going back up, dude. It went up a dollar, you know? And so it, it, there's a balance between I, if I followed my plan and I walked away and I covered the bottom, I'd be happy. But we can never cover at the bottom everything. We can never short the top everything. So... The Discipline Workshop teaches you to follow your plan. No one is perfect. Make your money, get the hell out, and be happy. Because I, I, that's why I post that, that, that quote, comparison is the thief of joy. I was so fucking happy when I thought I covered the bottom, and then next year, you know, and I just the bottom uh, falls out again. <laughs> or you don't have enough, Alex, right? You're like, why yeah, do I trick? Yeah. So those are the things that discipline helps you. So it, on my calendar, I would great rate myself as a losing day even though i'm green right exactly exactly and, and i and i think that's what it is man is the mindset guys you imagine you have 500 people a couple hundred people telling you that even if you lose even if you lose because you stopped out you follow your plan that is a winning day correct that's so exactly that's what the it mindset is. that you need to correct yourself guys so i think that steven Man, I give hands off to Steve. This is a great, great idea. We talked about it all the time, but no one's ever implemented how to how to help people fix it. Yeah, we had, he started off as a small group of like 10 people. And then once the 10 people started telling other people about their results, it almost snowballed into more people wanting to join. And everyone in the discipline workshop, I mean, the way we're going to have it set is just keep sharing whatever you feel comfortable with. You know, if you're there just to observe, you could be there to observe. But if you really want to take advantage, just participate. We're not judging you on how much money you're making. We're not judging you if you have $10,000 days or $10,000 losses. We're judging based on if you followed your plan or not. So if you did, great. If you didn't, what can we do to help you improve? Yeah, I posted some of the results. This is very preliminary, guys. It's only been like a month, right? Yeah. And I've seen so much improve it so they post like win win or lose right you follow your plan and then then you take a look at the p and l that comes from it you'd be very surprised right you're like holy shit i did pretty well just by following my plan yeah you know versus like you tracking p and l every day you know it fucking sucks when you when you know you're like you you did you did all the right things but you still lose and so you feel like crap and you think you changed your plan all this stuff guys and that's that's what we're trying to tell you just because you lost does not mean that it was a bad day of trading Correct. some days just want to fucking break even or lose small because you know there are traps you know no one wins all the time as long as you follow the plan yep yep that's a good point um the next thing i want to talk about is 
what, so we've been having a lot of buy-ins lately, guys. So a lot of people have been asking me, what is a buy-in or how does that work or what the hell is going on? So if you've been trading these stocks like FNGR or ATXI or anything else that's been moving this week, there's been a lot of buy-in. So this is what happens. When a short trader holds a stock overnight, the broker has two days to find a locate for that stock. If they are not able to find a locate, the broker buys you in. And the way that the broker buys you in is they put the order into a VWAP algo. So let's say you have 10,000 shares. They're going to algo your order through VWAP, 10,000 shares all day long. So when stocks have buy-ins, the broker does not allow you to short it. TWAP. TWAP. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So they I'm put it into some sort of algo. They put it into some sort of algo that covers it throughout the day at the average price of the day based like weighted on the time whatever the point is guys that when these stocks are being bought in number one that the broker that buys you in is not going to allow shorts for the day because they don't have the borrow and number two the stock trades very irrationally so atxi whenever like i think last yesterday or the day before every time it tanked it would just bounce up on air and you would think to yourself who the hell is buying this it's the algo it's the cover it's the buy-in so whenever stocks are on buy-ins, guys, you have to be very careful trading them because they trade more irrationally than possible. And this leads us to the next tool, which is the broker. So you want to talk about that, Bao? Yeah. So what happens is uh, these buy-ins prevent you from shorting. You have no idea, to be honest, guys, as a normal trader, you don't even know what a buy-in is. No one's going to tell you that stuff. Um, some bigger traders will get information from the from the broker because they'll ask like, why can I not borrow this stock too short? And they'll tell you that it's doing buy-ins. And yeah. so you take a look at ATXI yesterday. That was a day that you had buy-ins, right? And, and so it went from 10 to 15, 16 pre-market on air. Because probably what happened is the moment the traders found out there's buy-ins, boom. Yep. So there's a lot of nefarious things. I want to get into this. Uh, Catch me at the next meetup, get me junk, and I'll tell you how <laughs> certain brokers cheat you and squeeze your buy-in, guys. I'm not fucking joking around with you. Any company, any broker, I'm not accusing any broker of anything, guys. I am just speaking in generalization. Let me just give you one minute what happens, okay? I'm not setting a fear on the market. I'm not saying that anybody's doing this. But it is a possibility, and we will shut up, and we won't say who's <laughs> doing it, but it has been done. So if I... If I was the broker and I saw there was 100,000 shares being bought in of ATXI, that is the most powerful insider information you can fucking get, right? Because what's going to do is I am going to go long pre-market 50,000 fucking shares knowing that I have to buy you suckers in 100,000 and I would move that motherfucking stock up myself and put a giant sale order that, I, that the firm will take out. Yeah. <laughs> legal yeah it's crazy guys there's a lot of sketchy stuff in the industry but anyways guys i don't like any fucking shit that has a fucking buy -in. why is it my fault that your dumb ass don't have fucking locates yeah. for me to buy it and now i cannot trade the stock yeah. so that's one of the tools of the trade guys one of the tools to make money we want to talk about first of all you know you have to have the right mentorship that's cool uh, so thank you steven for that um um discipline workshop number two is that most important that you can't come to battle guys with a little pellet gun man you need a fucking tank you need all that so you need a broker that's gonna let you do all that so i hate to, i mean this is not meant to be an ad or anything but it's fucking true because yesterday dude atx i ran like a motherfucker and we're like why is it by someone said oh it was being bought and i'm like holy fuck you know i mean that's great information to know and you fucking squeeze the damn guy because we know there's a buy-in you squeeze yeah. everybody right um, yeah. But the thing is, you cannot short that. So there's a lot of times, like, uh, so today, what was the buy, Alex, today? Name all the stocks. Today, today, there was FNGR was being bought in, and ATXI was being bought in as well. So take a look at FNGR stock, dude. You shorted this today, right? Uh, FNGR, yeah. I got one entry on the bounce. Let me actually show you that entry. Yeah, let's talk about that. Because other some brokers cannot short. Uh, cannot, you cannot FNGR, look. I basically, this was the move pre-market. I basically ignored it all of market open. I got one bounce in the morning and I just covered on that bounce. That's it. Yep. Nail and bell get out. So you know, how much you pay for that locate? That locate was dirt cheap. I think it was uh, I think it was like thirteen cents maybe. Maybe oh, even I, cheaper. I woke up later and I found it for seven cents, bro. <laughs> oh seven cents? Let me double check. One second. 
I paid seven cents, but it hasn't bounced back yet. But if oh, it point, does, point zero seven one. Yeah, seven cents. There we go. Yeah, we paid seven cents. So seven freaking cents, dude, to borrow finger. And, and I made, I, let me see, I shorted it at six seventy three and I covered it literally, literally one minute later at five ninety. So that means five ninety. That's eighty three cents minus seven cents is yeah, I mean seventy five cents a share in one minute. Dude, that's that's pretty good. So that's that's the key. That's the that's the tool. Other brokers are sh shut out because they're they're stuck doing the buy-in. So success trade. One of the conditions is, uh, that we moved to success trade was the fact that first uh, red show regulation show uh, red show you can't short on on red show days. Uh, but we we've been shorting all along. Yeah. So other brokers finally changed that things like that. Um, so this buy-in has been a big problem. So that's why I had to get more and more accounts before. So that I can short these red, uh, these uh, buy-ins because you don't know when, man. You know what? How frustrating it was back then, Alex? When when the because what happens is the day that the day that it tanks, we want to have the shares to short like Finger today. Oh man! And if if it's a popular stock like Finger and it's a low flow and all that bullshit, they're gonna buy you in. Yeah. So so the fact that you know like you're able to do this is huge, guys. So, so I, I, that's that's one of the tools of the trade, right? Um, okay, so moving on. What, what else is there, Alex? We uh, we talked about. I mean, uh, what I was gonna say next is just having a support group of people around you, like a community. I mean, like again, this is the whole point of this, guys. Is for you guys to understand, trading is very lonely. I am sitting in my office all goddamn day long, just staring at these screens all day long, and oftentimes, mostly in the dark. I open these blinds because I want to get some light in here, but mostly in the dark and trading is very lonely. And just like in anything in life, if you do something alone, you're really not going to see the results that you're looking for. You know, I need to be surrounded by other traders like Bao, like Steven, like James, like Harry to be able to improve myself as a trader because I don't know what I don't know. Right. So being surrounded by other people who are great at certain things helps me improve. For example, Harry's a great long buys trader. So seeing him trade longs helps me understand the mindset of a long trader. Bao is an incredible channel trader. So seeing him trade the channel gives me a better idea of how I could trade the channel. You know, I'm a better trader in terms of stock selection. So traders can learn from me on how to select stocks better. The point is, guys, that being surrounded by other traders with all different types of skill sets will help you improve your skill set as well. Yeah, guys, this is the thing you don't understand. We talked about this. I, I think other people, I've seen, so there was a Traders for a uh, Cause event that we didn't event, uh, attend, but I see people post a lot of the things that we talked about for years now. And one of the things we talked about is working as a team to better yourself. I always use the analogy of, like, you know, like, because uh, I, I, I grew up in the old days of prop firm and, you know, all that stuff. So I've seen how they do it. Alex was in one as well way back in the day. So what happens is, like, Goldman Sachs, all these guys have a trading pit, guys. You don't sit in isolation at home on your underwear like we do. Uh, you sit in a pit. So what happens you have a risk manager overseeing all your trades, and you have other million-dollar traders around you screaming out what to look for, things like that, and news. You have guys that are doing uh, news for you you uh the, the beauty of working in a big firm like goldman sachs all those things because what happens is you have a trader you have an analyst you have a researcher you have a risk control guy you have all these things right because what happens is we are just one human at home you you alex have to do your own research yep. you have to figure out you know stock news if news came out you're fucked but those guys will have a bloomberg account just looking at news on your behalf and so how do you mimic that how do you replicate that by having an environment like MIC, right? We have guys like Alex helps with, he's a very good uh, stock selection because you have the most discipline, man. I like to trade all this bullshit. But, I have, but I'm very good with my lines. I'm, so I show you what works. So because of the fact that I'm showing the channels, you see the lines ahead of time that work. Because, right. because Harry is a very good long buy trade, for example. And now Tom is doing that as long. So with all people doing long buys trades, I understand the feel. And they go, if they're in that stock, I better not be in fucking shorting too early at that stock. Exactly. Or if we're saying to avoid a stock on the short side, it might be it's a bit long. Correct. So that's how you help, man. Because so like uh, we have Tay. She's a moderator. <laughs> Dude, she bought finger at fucking 
four bucks or some crazy. Yeah, yeah she's beast. You know what I'm saying? So she, she, so we in the morning yesterday, finger was four bucks pre market. Me and Al, do not short, do not short, do not touch this motherfucking stock. It's we're too stupid. We didn't go long, but she right. went long at four bucks, and then she sold it at seven to eight dollars, and she was mad because oh, after hours it went up to ten dollars, right? So that's the thing. So, but she was not upset. She's like, you know what, man? I I sell. I sleep better at night. I, I don't have any FOMO. If she had held that thing, she would have been right. She lost back all her money. Now it's like five bucks, right? Yeah. Yeah. So do you guys have any questions for us? We could maybe do like a quick five-minute Q&A for you guys. You guys just throw it in the chat here and we can kind of respond to it. Uh, in addition, guys, I'm very close to releasing my live trade. So hopefully maybe by next week. I have a live $145,000 uh, live trade recorded on Bed Bath & Beyond with voiceover and commentary done by me. And after that trade goes live, it's going to be free for everyone on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And then after that, we are going to have a full library of live trading videos available to lifetime members only. So I have recorded about $260,000 worth of live trades. The first 150K uh, of Bed Bath & Beyond is going to be free for everyone. And then the rest is going to be for members. So I even recorded my trade today. And I'm basically trying to build that library, hopefully to half a million dollars in live trades. So hopefully every single week or every single month, I'll have a couple new live trades for lifetime members. But the first one, the $145,000 trade will be free for everyone just to see, you know, what we could do every day, you know. You know, great stuff, man. We're always trying to so talk about this recession real quick, man. I think if people want to talk about that. We'll probably end on that, man. Um, I don't. Does this scare you? I mean, for from a trading point, Alex, I don't really fucking feel the difference. People tell me this shit. From we, a trading point, it doesn't matter, right? Because we're here every day. We don't really care if the market's up or down. We just care if there's volatility. I think the big thing that people have to think about during this recession is we are in a recession. Don't listen to the media. They're telling you we're not in one. We're definitely in a recession. The question is, is it going to be a depression? But the main thing I think that people need to understand is now more than ever, it is more important to save as much money as possible, to not spend money on stupid shit that you don't need so that while the world is crumbling, while the economy is going down, I mean, shit is going to be on discount. You can start to build your wealth in the best way possible during recessions. The biggest wealth generators have been, you know, 2008. When real estate crashed, people bought it. You know, five, ten years later, triple, quadruple, five times your money. Same thing in 2020. 2020, we had a fucking massive panic. You know, one year, two years later, it got fixed. Now, I'm not saying that in one, two years, this is going to be fixed. But if you didn't have cash on the side, if you didn't have a savings on the side, there's no way you could capitalize. So my advice is cut your expenses, build your cash. And just wait. Yeah. So what 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 the economy usually do is so when there's ever a recession or depression, um, America they they invest in infrastructure. And that's what we told. Uh, so if businesses invest in infrastructure. And you know what infrastructure is for yourself? Investment in yourself, guys. Cut out all the bullshit like buying Gucci belts. Invest in yourself because things are slow. So what does investing in yourself mean? It's like your education, saving money so that you can make money, right? And so. When, when Al was talking about don't spend your money on stupid shit, I agree. So, you know what a stupid shit is? It's losing money, gambling, trading. Well, you have no clue what the fuck you're doing. Okay? So, you imagine, guys. And we keep saying this all the time. Ask yourself, how much money did you lose this month? How much money did you lose this year? How much money did you lose just today? Yeah. You know, like, imagine if you invest in yourself. Now you're in the discipline workshop. And, and I mean, dude, how... <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say, man. But um, but if you're but but if, if you're losing more than two hundred fifty bucks a month, guys, I mean you, you and you you're saying that MIC is too expensive. I don't know what to tell you, right, guys? So you know what it is. The thing is, pal, I've learned that we shouldn't try to help everyone. We have to only help people that are serious about trading because <laughs> this is a true superpower once you learn it. And to be honest, it's actually in our best interest that you guys don't join. You guys keep gambling, and we keep making money off you guys gambling. So, you know, don't join MIC if you just want to get rich quick. 
don't join if you're going to waste our time. If you're serious, join. If you're not serious, don't join, please. Yeah, some, some idiot that's not educated started buying a broken stock at the fucking 450 line, which I fucking shorted. And I just cut there you it. Go. <laughs> that there you paid, go. That paid me see, for that, yeah for a few months of my series. <laughs> just off of, yep. right right here while I'm messing around on Instagram Live, guys. So, I mean, you're you're right, man. So we 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 pivoted from trying to help the world because you know what happens, man. When we try to help the world, there's a lot. Most people don't want to be helped. Most people are just getting rich, want to get rich quick, which takes time away from the people that really want to get helped. And so we, we've actually reduced the number of people that's, that is allowed in MIC. Same thing with our broker. Our broker is very strict, guys. There's a reason why you have to have a, a minimum. And I think there is an application that, that asks you beforehand, like how much you trade and stuff, see if you're ready to be part of the, the brokerage as well. So um, we don't want people in that to take up precious time from people like Steven and yeah. James. Because if you're not serious about trading, guys, I mean, dude, we don't want you in MIC or – Yeah, we're not – we don't We don't treat this like gambling, guys. We treat it like a professional career. I mean, you know, if you want to make millions of dollars, it's not going to happen by just gambling. I mean, you're not – you're not these pro professional gamblers that, you know, get lucky. You know, we have a strategy. We have a uh, process. And it's no surprise that, you know, the watches we put out is 90% win rate too. It's because it's not gambling. We're just waiting for certain patterns to show up. And when those patterns show up, we capitalize. And if they're not there, they're not there. Yeah, man. The, 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 watch list, the watch list alone is supposed to be for two reasons. To help you learn how to make a watch list. To, but, you know, the cheat code is to trade off the watch list and make money for your membership. <laughs> but don't tell anybody. Yeah, people still don't do it. So. <laughs> and don't tell okay, so this is what we do, guys. The, ne the next, so tonight we have a bunch of webinars. So tonight is the big cap and large cap uh, yep. with Joe. And tomorrow, this is, what, this is what I like to do, man. I like to have. If you're around, Stephen, to help Tosh to be the special guest for Tosh's, uh, what is it, webinar? So all you guys are watching right now on Instagram Live, make sure you attend tomorrow's free webinar at 2 p.m. market time with Tosh. And Stephen is going to talk about the Discipline Workshop. So yep, I think It'll be that, on YouTube Live. It'll be on YouTube. Yep. So, guys, look for tomorrow, guys. So I think this is a good segue for us to say, Thanks, man. Get back to trading. And then uh, free discipline workshop tomorrow, 2 p.m. market time. So look for the tweets, guys. And thanks, Sounds Tosh. Good. Tosh is hosting that. And, and Steven, thank you, guys. Sounds good. See you then. All right, man. See you, man.